Hey, man, fuck you. I'm the mullet guy around here. Nah, man, fuck you. It's me. Plus, I wore the Steelers colors in college. And I got a 10K signing bonus. They already like me more than you. Well, this is Pittsburgh, and I play the linebacker position, so there's that. Plus, I'm already beloved because I'm Devin Bush's replacement. Literally took his number. So I'd say, I got the upper hand. Fuck you. I'm all a guy. No, fuck you. That's me. Is this town big enough for two mullet guys? Find out more as we venture through the 2023 Steelers offseason. Yes, the Steelers made seven undrafted free agent signings upon completion of the 2023 NFL Draft. And one of them just so happens to be a fullback with a mullet from Iowa and has a really badass name. Monty Potterbaum. Definitely feels like we're over Derek Watt already. Like, you just don't give Steeler fans mullet, cool name, fullback guy from Iowa and expect us to want a different starting fullback now all of a sudden. It just doesn't work that way. Plus, Mike Tomlin completed the Infinity Gauntlet, so he doesn't need the Watt Infinity Stone anymore. And from the looks of it, this guy is good and fits the role we're lacking right now of being a traditional fullback. Of course, we'll probably get a shot at special teams work too, but really can't go wrong with this pickup. But now let's go over briefly the other six guys we brought in as undrafted free agents. First, you got wide receiver slash return specialist Jordan Bird. He's listed as a receiver here, but actually played running back in San Diego State. I view him right now more as a return specialist. He's really fast, had four returns to the house in his college career, and you got to figure, we lost Steven Sims, so his path to making the team is to beat out Gunner and Calvin Austin III for that return man spot. Next, we have center Trevor Downing out of Iowa State. He's a versatile O-lineman, started at all interior spots, moved to center his senior season, and I'm assuming will compete for that backup center spot with the likes of Spencer Anderson. Next, quarterback Tanner Morgan out of Minnesota has had a multitude of previous careers, including a doctor, a mechanic, and a police officer. Now he wants to start slinging his balls on a football field this time. Lucky for him, with his career switch, he has no competition for the third quarterback spot unless we bring an XFL guy in. Also, there's defensive end James Nyamwaya out of Merrimack. I think he's just here to be competing with the depth D lineman. Also, linebacker David Perales out of Fresno State. I think he's a big defensive end slash edge rusher, uh, a quality senior season with 11 and a half sacks. Gotta think he's gonna compete with the likes of Quincy Roche and Chappelle Russell for that roster spot. Finally, kicker BT Potter out of Clemson a guy that Boz can golf with when the special teamers have downtime. So those are the guys we picked up post-draft. Who do you guys think has the best chance to make the team out of this group? I'd say there's probably three or four. Monty Pottebaum, Trevor Downing, Tanner Morgan. I know a lot of you guys will probably say Jordan Bird, but I think the problem with him is if he doesn't beat out Gunner or Calvin Austin like going away for that return specialist spot, then I think the Steelers are going to cut him because... At least you got Gunner and Calvin that I think will bring more to the table on offense. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Big Deke News on a Tuesday. Stay chilling and peace.